Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hello. <laughs> Are you good? Are you having to go? Don't read them yet. I was you're, looking. You're getting a precursor. <laughs> we ready? Hey, my peoples. Welcome to The Real Life. I'm Jax, and today we are interviewing the one and only Otis Kerry. How are you? Good, thank you. Thanks for having me. No, it's really, really good to meet you and be here in Surrey Hills with you. Um, first of all, I want to ask real quick, we always do this, what's in your cuppa? What's in your mug today? This one, this is just water. Water? Yeah. Um, no coffee, no tea? No, I think coffee tastes like shit. <laughs> fair, fair <laughs> yeah. comment. You wouldn't be the first. Yeah. Um, not even tea either? No? No, I'm not, I don't like drinking warm water. Yeah. Or anything warm, really. Yeah. I don't know why. That's cool. That's good. That's a fair, fair comment, fair choice. Yeah. Um, so first of all, we always want to ask, you know, where you're from? Where are your mobs from? So, Nenside, Gumbanga, and Popside, Bunjalung. Yeah, but right. I'm currently living in, back home in Gumbanga country. Yeah. Coffs Harbour, yeah. Oh, what was, what's Coff, Coffs Harbour like? It's beautiful. We've yeah. got the Great Dividing Range actually comes down onto the beach and then we've got big rainforest, Dorigan National Park. It's, oh. it's incredible, yeah. We've got everything there. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's a popular place, popular place for people to stop in and spend a few days. Yeah. Um, what was it like there growing up? Growing up was good there. So we, I was born in Grafton. Yeah. Nan was um, raised mum up in Grafton. So uh, I think naturally we were always going to be born there, but <laughs> yeah. I spent a lot of time in Grafton, which was great. And um, Coffs was good too. Had, uh, I don't know, there's something about Grafton. I just love it there. But um, growing up Coffs was good. A lot mm. of time spending creeks and rivers and yeah. down the beach. That was good. They're some of your fondest memories. Yeah, being... my first memories are in the bush and at yeah. the beach. Yeah. So, which is crazy because I've read that your family totem is the ocean. Is that correct? Yeah, on Gumbanga, one of the Gumbanga totems is yeah. um, Gargle Ocean. Wow. Yeah. And so, is it just serendipitous that? I think it was inevitable that yeah. I was going <laughs> to have no to take choice. some part. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the beach is just, you know, like I'm a saltwater girl myself and. Um, the beach is just a beautiful place to just be calm and yeah. let go. And well, it's got so many um, healing elements. Yes. I think we always forget about that. A hundred percent. Yeah. A hundred percent. And and so you surfing, I mean, did you always enjoy surfing or was there a moment where you were like, oh, nah, I might just... Yeah, I like again as well, some of my first memories of surfing with my, my family. So I think... I don't know, I've always just loved being at the ocean, in the ocean and around yeah. it. And I, I'd, I'd rode a bodyboard a lot and like oh, kayaks yeah. at the beach, I'd, whatever <laughs> could float, I'd try and ride it on a wave. Esky <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yep. <laughs> I remember those, they're my fondest memories. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I do know that the ocean is, can be a little bit rough from my own experience where I just get smashed all the time. Is there times in your like surfing life where you've just gotten absolutely owned by the water? Yep, there's been plenty. There's one I remember, reef break at home, I got pinned on the bottom and just shredded all the right side of my body. And another time I was in Tahiti, I got sucked back over backwards and landed on my bum on the reef oh. and cut like around my ring. Oh my, no. Yeah, it was bad. That's bad. Yeah, it was bad. That's huge. <laughs> and how do you like, how do you recover from that? Like in the oh. moment, how did you just hope for the best? I just, I just paddled to the channel and just lay there. I actually called a Kiwi guy to come check my bum out because I thought it just like ripped oh open. Oh my God, okay. But he was just like, it's all good. You just scratched it all up. Good on him for <laughs> yeah. keeping you calm. Well, I was so, so scared. I was like, wow, like this is not good. Because I hit so hard. I was yeah. like, the height that I got sucked was probably the roof to the ground. Quite a big wave just sucked me down so quick and hard. That's incredible. Yeah. I mean, I, I would not have gone back to surfing for a while. Do you just get up the next day and go, oh, I'm going to go for another surf? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't surf the next day. I was too sore. Just one day off? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I surfed the day after. <laughs> okay. It's good to get back in the water, wash your wounds off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The salt water, the healing properties and that. Um, but, you know, you talk about uh, surfing and growing up and uh, the healing properties, but 
one of your amazing achievements is that you're a dad. Yep. Yeah. What's that been like? Has it been amazing, it's been crazy? <laughs> well, I had my first beige. I had him when I was 21. Beige. I look back now and I was just so young. Yep. Still didn't know who I was, but it was great to grow old and learn about who I was with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I've got Lenny. He's a year and a half and I've Aww. got a little girl due in December. Due in December, well congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Little girl. Oh, yeah. you're going to have three now? Yeah. It's going to be I'm fun. Getting the snip now, I reckon. <laughs> you can? <laughs> yeah. Your choice, no, go three ahead. is a good number. Oh, three is a good number. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Three is a good number. Um, and can your oldest surf and swim? Yeah, and, he loves yeah. the beach. He's right into footy at the moment. Oh yeah, what kind yeah. of footy? Rugby league. Oh yeah. But he's um he's a really fast runner. He's going. He's actually going to Lismore for zone. I what? think it is. Yeah. That's amazing. How how old yeah. is he? He's nine. Nine and yeah. he's in zone doing that sort of yeah. stuff. Oh. He's really fast. We call him Usain Beige. <laughs> <laughs> you need to put that on a shirt. <laughs> Hashtag Usain Beige. He's really quick. That's so good. Yeah. Um and he but he loves what you do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's pretty blasé about yep. what I do. He just sees me as dad. Yeah, yeah, of course. He asked me the other day if I was famous. <laughs> oh, bless him. <laughs> You're like, no. Funny. Yeah, I just shook his head. Yeah, shook yeah, my head. Yeah. yeah, but they obviously mean the world to you. And um, they've been, I think, you know, kids are all our hugest achievements, I yeah. feel. Um, they help you grow so much as a person too. 100%. You learn so much about yourself when you have a child. 100%. Yeah. And you also learn about other relationships, so like your parents, you know, you talk yeah. about your parents a lot in your You appreciate interviews. your parents a lot more, eh? 100%. I, th I thought I appreciated my parents until yeah, I had no. children and I was like, oh my gosh. I know. <laughs> I find myself doing over for them now because yeah. I'm like, oh yeah. I'll go out of my way a lot more yeah. to help. And so they're really supportive of you? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And they still... You still go on trips and stuff with them. Recently, you went on a trip yep. with your dad. Yeah. Yeah. Fishing. Me and dad love fishing. Oh yeah. So we go on fishing trips and not so many surf trips anymore. He's getting a bit old to keep surfing. Oh bless him. Well, he's not getting old. Sorry, dad. <laughs> but he's sorry, dad. His back's a bit crook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So is so is my dad, Tim <laughs> Senior. Yeah. I just don't know. They just get stubborn, I think, and they think that they can keep going on and yep. doing the same things. Um, but today, I guess what's really exciting as well is that we're in Surrey Hills at this wonderful um, art exhibition. Um, can you tell the real life family about your exhibition and what we're surrounded by today? Um, so the whole idea, well not the idea, but what I wanted to achieve for the show was, it was kind of my interpretation of, I take sort of traditional symbols and I sort of turn them into a exaggerated contemporary form mm -hmm. and sort of express the way I feel in a way that sort of tries to tell a story, my, my story in a modern way, I guess. Yep. But basically in a nutshell, the show is my way of thanking the ocean. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Thanking the ocean for? For everything that it gives us. Yeah. For its, I've been through a really bad depression. Mm -hmm. it, I struggle with that on and off and if I didn't have the ocean I don't think I'd be here like it's really helped me yeah yeah I think with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people we've experienced so much you know intergenerational trauma and mm. a lot of mental illnesses we experience more on a you know more than most other non-indigenous Australians yeah and I feel like what you do like surfing, being in the ocean is so healing, like you said before, and therapeutic, but so is art. Yeah. So it's amazing that you do both yep. really I'm, quite healing. Yeah. I'm really grateful that I can have both and not only have them, but share them with, share my experiences with them with other people. Yeah. yeah I think that's important to do as well. And is it important to you that you have this ability to share your stories and your family's stories through your art? Do you? Do you, yeah, I think do you the see more we know about yeah. each other, the better the world is. I think so. Yeah. More understanding. Yeah, because I think we tend to, um, we don't listen to communicate, we listen to reply. You, does that make sense? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, it does. Um, funny you say that. I think that's a 
we're all waiting, especially on social media these days, there's always that yeah. <laughs> need to want to comment or, you know, reply to yeah. someone. Um, you're quite big on socials. Yeah. How's that? How's Instagram treating you these days? What do you feel about Instagram and social? I think it's a great platform. Yep. It just sucks that there's so many keyboard warriors that have really negative shit to say. Yeah. But other than that, I think it's a really good platform to be able to share things with people and, you know, create a positive bubble for yourself. Yeah. I agree with that in, especially for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, we now have like various ways where we get to yeah. share our stories. I've met so many Indigenous artists through Instagram and formed really great, beautiful friendships with other Indigenous artists that I would never have got to meet. Yeah. Yeah. Because I guess as a visual artist, you kind of stick to yourself a yeah. lot. And like for you, one of, you know, I'm a fan of yours because you're quite laid back. And I know the visual arts community is quite can be quite clicky, it can yeah. be quite, you know, has those old school stereotypes. Yeah, um, it's pretty weird. I, I haven't figured it out yet yeah. and I don't plan to. No, I think, <laughs> I think you, yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I'll just do my own thing. Is there anything you've experienced in the visual arts world that you just like, what is this? Just the wanky, shitty crap talk. <sighs> yeah. Like, just how they, oh, I don't know, I don't even know. Yeah. Let's not go there. Okay. <laughs> we went there a little bit when we're coming straight out of there. <laughs> that sounds good though. Um, but when you talked about, you know, before you talked about doing that doco, so you did a doco recently about mental illness. About oh, with being here. Y yeah, 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 yeah. Was that um, with Darius? Darius, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A friend of mine. Yeah, uh, that was awesome. Yeah. Um, I think it's really brave when people speak up about those sorts of things, especially Aboriginal Torres Strait Islander people, our mob, mm. um, I'd like for us to do it more. Yeah. What I was that like? It's, um, it's a weird, it's just so weird how mm. depression is so taboo. Um, I just want to help break down those walls. Yeah. It's so important for Indigenous people to, oh, it's just intergenerational trauma I think is so prominent. It really is, and I just want to try and do my best to help simmer that a little and understand it a bit more and help help the younger generation and older generation to get through it. Yeah, 100%. And yeah. has any young people reached out to you? Have you yeah, met any? Yeah? Yeah. 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 And what have they, what have they um, said to you? Have they shared their story? Mm, yeah, just... Most, mostly just like, hey, I'm so grateful that you've opened up the way you have. It's really helped me to understand that I'm not alone. Like Aww. a lot of people think that they're alone and they can't tell anyone. I know that. I know how that feels as well. Yep. I felt like that. I felt I didn't want to be a burden. I didn't want people to worry about me. But it's, you know, that's how it is and you just got to pull through it. Yeah like really talk to someone that you trust. And I think uh, all of our mob out there, if you, you know, want to talk to anyone, make sure that you reach out. We're all here. Um, it's actually more prevalent than you think. And we all have lots of common ground, not only through our identities and cultures and things, but through what we've experienced um, over many generations. So reach out, maybe do some of the healing things. Have a swim in the ocean. Yeah. Don't get smashed. Ocean. Well, any, any kind of water. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Ocean, creeks, you know, lakes. I thought, I, this is a bit of advice for Go those on. out there. Yeah, do it. So pick five or ten people that you feel comfortable with mm -hmm. or that you would feel comfortable, that you think you'd feel comfortable with talking to and just send them a text. Beautiful. Yeah, easy. That's how, that's how it starts. Yep. Yeah. That's great advice. Yeah. Um, I think that not only with what you've said, but with your art and surfing, I think people just from afar would probably appreciate how much you've done in our community. You do a lot on social media as well in terms of, uh, you know, standing up for things going on, calling out people. Has that been um, something of recent that you've tried to do or is it something that you just like um, always stood up for? No, I've always pretty pretty much stood up for the things that I don't believe in. Yeah. I think, I think we all should. Yeah. I think you've got to call a spade a spade. Yeah, absolutely.
I think there's a lot of that in the media at the moment. Mm. Um, and you don't have to be mean about it. No, you don't. Just say it how it Honest. is. Honest. Yeah. Yeah, honesty. And I think that's also a way of reaching out um, too. Like if you feel like someone's, you know, bullying you or making you feel not worthy, whatever, you just call them out and say, yeah. hey, you know, don't want it, don't like it. It's funny, most of the time on social media, I'll get into a conversation with who I would call a racist. Mm. A lot of the time they'll message me at the oh. end of it and go, hey, thanks for talking to me. I understand where you're coming from now. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy how many people do that. Wow, yeah. so they start yelling from the top of the hill and then Yeah, they're... you just, you can't fight fire with fire, there's no point. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it can be exhausting, do yeah. you think? Yeah. Well, the way, the way I go about it, it doesn't exhaust me. Okay, mm. that's awesome. I mean, if I was to like sort of jab back, back and forth yes. with jabs, it, that would definitely get tiring. Yeah, totally. Um, so yeah, again, you mob out there, uh, keep calling things out and be honest with those out there when you feel a bit upset or if you feel like someone's not being nice to you, we're all in this together, like I said before. Um, but one interesting thing, one interesting thing I want to ask you about is your tats. Um, favourite? There's so many. I don't know, I've got a couple. Yeah? I'm actually getting tattooed this afternoon. Are you um, serious? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, maybe the eagle on my hand. Yeah. What's, what's the story? Just represents my oldest son, Beige. Oh. He's got his name above it there. Yeah. I don't know, it's just a, um, a reminder to just let him grow into who he wants to be. 100%. Yeah. And soar high. Like yep. an eagle? Yeah, yep. absolutely. And what about your worst or your regrettable? <laughs> I've got, on my bum, I've got a terrible <laughs> one. <laughs> like, you're talking about <laughs> scarring, like, you know, in the ocean, getting smashed. <laughs> like, yeah, so tell us, go on then. It's got We're already there. two of my best friend's names. It says Ryan with a love heart, and then it's under it says Dean with a dick and balls. Ryan. A bit rude, a bit Dean, stupid. Dean, shout out. Really inappropriate, but. Really inappropriate, yeah. but there for life. <laughs> yep. I'm sure they love it. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yep. Okay. Well, we're going to play a game now. Do you want to play it. a game? Yeah. So this game, as everyone knows at home, it's called, is it the real or is it gammon? And that is how you spell gammon. For all of those at home, I know keyboard warriors, <laughs> talking to you, that's how you spell it. Right? Good. Here you go. So I'm gonna ask you some questions and you're gonna tell me if it's the real, so true, or gammon, false. Okay, you ready? First one. You're named after Otis Redding? The, the real? real? Sitting on the dock of the bay? Yeah. I almost thought Milo and Otis, but you know, <laughs> bless. That came after. Did it? Yes. Oh, Isn't that like I... a little late 90s? Hey now, know. I've got no idea. Wrong. I'm probably <laughs> wrong. Yeah, so that's cool. Yep. Really good. But I'm pretty sure everyone asks you that all the time. Only older people, a lot of older people ask, oh, ask yeah. the question. Young ones probably like, that's fine. cool. And yeah. that's it. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Next question. You're allergic to chocolate. The real. Oh my God. <laughs> yep. What, what, how? How did this happen? I travelled for a year filming a film clip, a surfing movie, and I ate a lot of chocolate growing up, like binged on it. Yep. And I stopped eating it for about nine months, came home and me and dad pigged out on chocolate. I had chocolate ice cream, I had, and then I had a chocolate paddle pop, and then I ate some German dark chocolate. And uh -oh. it just broke out in hives and really <gasps> itchy and I had to go to hospital because I couldn't breathe. That is an allergic reaction. Terrible. Anaphylactic, apparently. Oh my gosh. Oh. So you've had to say, see you later, the chocolate. Yep. 22 was when I had the reaction and I'm 30. So it's been a while. Ooh. Is there been times <laughs> where you're like, hmm, I'm just going to try <laughs> <Yeah>. it tonight. <laughs> I actually tried Nutella like two years later, just rubbed a bit on my lip and it, my lip just No went, way. Did yeah. you film it? You should put that on your Insta. Yeah, get some Kylie Jenner's going. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like natural, natural hit up on your lips. Um, okay, um, so another one is your favourite colour is blue. 
Gammon. What's your favourite colour? Pink. Is it? Yep. How come? I don't know. I've always loved the colour pink. It's Anything pink. Really nice. It's really nice. I was nice. thinking the other day I should have <laughs> painted all the um, colour on the artworks pink. But it's all right. Next show. Yeah. Next show. <laughs> Another idea. Store away. And then um, I want to ask you about surfing because I, again, I know nothing about surfing. Do you have to be fit to be a surfer? No. Really? That is gammon. Gammon. Why? No, you don't. You um, just... Well, you can just get on a like a mini mal or a soft top board and okay. walk out knee deep or hip deep and just turn around and jump on the wave. So is that your tips for me, beginner? Yeah. Just go and have a go? You only have to go out knee deep. Should I go with help? <laughs> Someone to help me? It's always good to get a surf lesson. Okay. Yeah. So if you ever want one. Yeah. Yes. Give me, give me a ring. <laughs> I'm going to coughs, everyone. Just letting everyone know. And the last one is, I heard you're now like Bullers with Chris Hemsworth. Are you going to be in the next Thor movie? I'd hope so. Come on, Chris. <laughs> Come on. You let him into your home now. That's just the best. No, Chris is, he's a really beautiful human. Yeah. 100%. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's, that good, was an amazing experience team. for you. Yeah, it was, it was beautiful to be able to not just paint a mural of that scale, but to be able to share it with somebody who's, you know, very successful at what he does is yeah. great. But really down to earth, he yeah. seems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah how, did you, how did you manage that, the huge um, mural? I was climbing up and down scaffolding for three weeks. Just <gasps> no crane, one, scaffold. Yeah, Ooh. one paintbrush, just me in the wall. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So cool. You got so many cool stories. We could sit here all day and yarn. I love it. Um, but thank you for yarning with the real life um, and sharing your story. And I hope everybody checks out your artwork, but also go back and read more about Otis and his life and, you know, surfing. It's truly, truly amazing. So I want to thank you all for joining us on The Real Life. Thank you, Otis, again. Thanks for having me. And uh, we'll see you all soon. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And yeah, this has been The Real Life. Yeah, woo!